Archer. I am committed to search for all of the talents, skills, and intelligence that exist in all children and youth. I believe all children are capable of success. No exception! and capable of success. I have dreams of the future and I'll climb those goals and dreams every day. All children are capable of success. No, no Good morning, Park Cubs. Today is Thursday, January 21st, 2021. I'm Erica. Welcome to The Cub Report, your daily source of information about what is going on here at Park. The Cub Report is our way of letting students, staff, and family know everything that is going on here at Park and to create a better connection among everyone. Don't forget, every Wednesday, a five-day meal box is distributed to students. These meal boxes will only be given to students who sign up beforehand. The order form can be found by going to the KSD website and clicking on Free School Meals. Complete the order form each Tuesday by 10 a.m. Today is the drawing for the Winter Wonderland gift baskets. Winners will be announced through student email and the cup report, so be watching to see who the winners are. There are 30 baskets to give away, and it will be a first-come, first-served basis. More information to come on how you can pick up your gift basket if your name is called. Next week, to finish off the semester, will be Color Week. Each day, there will be a different color to wear for your Zoom classes. Here are the color themes for each day. Monday, January 25th, will be red. Tuesday, January 26th, will be blue. Thursday, January 28th, will be black. And Friday, January 29th, will be part colors, which are green and white. Try to make each color a part of your outfit for the day, and let's see how many students can color coordinate. This idea has been brought to us by Jaden Summers, a sixth grade park student. Remember that next Friday is the end of first semester. Make sure and get caught up on any missing assignments in your classes. If you have any questions or assignments, email your teachers. Remember, if you have any thoughts or suggestions for the cover report, send your ideas to bit.ly slash park cover report submission. Have a great week, and remember, all children are capable of success, no exceptions. Have a great day. Attention 8th grade students, there are some important high school dates coming up that we wanted to share with you. If you want to request a transfer to a different high school than your boundary school, transfer request forms need to be filled out and submitted to the Kennewick School District no later than January 29th. Forms can be found on the Ken Kennewick School District webpage by searching transfer request or picking one up in Park's main office. If you don't know what your boundary school is and would like to find out, please email your school counselor. If you're planning to attend Delta High School, applications are due February 11th by 3 o'clock. If you'd like the link to apply, please ask your math teacher or your school counselor. High schools will also be coming into your classrooms in March to register you for high school, so be sure to start thinking about classes that you may want to take or questions that you may have for the high school counselors. There will also be parent information nights with your high schools in March, and we'll keep you posted on those dates. If you have any questions about these, please reach out to your teacher or your school counselors for more information. Park Cubs. I'm Mrs. Reyes, one of your school counselors, and I am so excited to get you guys back in building with us for hybrid learning. We've been working so hard to make sure that everything is ready for your return, that the building is clean and sanitized and safe for you to be in. If you're in cohort A, your first day of school in person will be January 25th. If you're in cohort B, your first day of school in person will be January 28th. You can see which cohort you're in by checking your power school. Things are gonna be a little bit different this year. Um, we're not gonna have lockers, but you will be able to take your backpacks with you to class. We'll also be providing some basic school supplies on the first day of school, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Another thing that's different is the way that we enter the building. We used to enter through the courtyard and that's gonna be different this year. We're not gonna, you won't be taken into the building until 7.50, so we're asking that students don't arrive too early. Sixth graders, you're gonna line up on the blacktop behind the exploratory hall. Our other awesome counselor, Ms. Hewden, is going to show you how to enter the building. 
So when you get to the front of park, you'll walk around the bike racks and you are actually gonna go all the way around the sixth grade and exploratory hall instead of going in through the courtyard doors like we usually would. You'll walk around on this sidewalk until you reach the blacktop. Once you reach the blacktop, you'll look for a sign with your teacher's names. All students will know how to line up by finding the neon green sign that has their teacher name. You'll wanna line up by the teacher you have first that day. So remember, you don't have all classes each day. Some days you'll have first hour first, and some days you'll line up by your second hour teacher since that will be your first class of the day. We have some web leaders who are gonna show you guys how to line up. So once you arrive and find your teacher's name, then you will stand on the white dots. They're all spaced six feet apart, so they make sure that everybody stays safe. Your teacher will come out and bring you into the building. Oh, good job, web leaders, making sure you stay six feet apart while you walk in. Once you enter the courtyard, you'll grab a breakfast. Then you'll follow your teacher into the hallway. On the hallway, we have different um, green arrows and dots that are gonna show you which way to walk on which sides of the hallway. The dots are all six feet apart. So when you get to your classroom door, you can stop and stand six feet apart until your teacher lets you into the classroom. This will look the same in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Seventh and eighth graders, this year you're gonna be lining up outside of the seventh and eighth grade hall back towards the bus loop. So seventh grade, you will find a neon green sign with your teacher's name on it and stand on the white dots just like the sixth grade, just like we showed in the sixth grade video. So seventh grade will be outside the seventh grade door and eighth grade will be outside of the eighth grade door. Now, another thing that's different this year is masks. So we do have to wear masks at school. So I wanna see if you guys can figure out who's wearing their mask appropriately. Let's see, Miss Kelly, I love your smile, but that's not how you wear your mask. Miss Hewden, digging the hair accessories, but I don't think that's right either. Officer Hughes, you look super cool, but I'm pretty sure your mask is supposed to go on both ears. Miss Reyes, I don't think you can even see in that mask, so that's not right. Oh, Mr. Cummings, I can see your nose and you're picking it. That's gross. Thank you, Mrs. Espy, for showing us how to wear your mask appropriately. When we wear masks, we wanna make sure they're covering our mouth and our nose at all times. One last thing is our water fountains will be turned off, but you are allowed to bring a water bottle if you would like. I'm sure you guys are all so excited to get back just like we are, and you'll probably have a lot of questions. We'll be able to answer all of those questions for you on the first day. Sixth graders, web leaders will be around on the first day of school wearing these bright red shirts. So if you need help or you don't know where you're going, look for somebody in a red shirt and they will help you find your way. We can't wait to see you.